Hello, I'm Jovan, and my poem is called The Closet by Jovan Mills. What's in the closet? Big old dusty shoes that were once used 100 years ago. A shrunken head that is still roaming in the night looking for her body. Rotten fish that was never eaten. Clothes that are torn, they are still being used. Old tuna fish in a can. A broken keyboard that was once thrown down a cliff. A creepy doll that is not loved anymore and forgotten. And a toilet seat that's very old and rusty. And I chose this poem because my closet is very creepy and I found this old paper plate in my closet. Hi, I'm Shona, and I wrote a poem called Best Friend. I was crossing the street when I saw the best thing that came into my life. When I saw it, it almost made me cry. My best friend, Jonas. Hi, my name is Penny, and I'm going to be reading the poem The Forest by Annette Wynn. The forest is the town of trees where they live quite at their ease, with their neighbors at their side, just as we in cities wide. Uh, I'm Caitlin, and I'm reading a poem back to school in 2021. I have a new teacher, I have a new class, my new class is tiny, we're all wearing masks. At first I was scared about how things would change. School was closed for so long, would it feel, feel bad or strange? But today I rode back to school on my bus. I sat by myself, there wasn't a fuss, not on my ride. And when I got to school, we stood far apart, we learned some new rules. Our teacher read books, we shared our names. What I thought would be different was almost the same. I'm Kayla, the poem that I'll be reading today is Dreams. Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is broken. Winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams, for when dreams go, life is a barren field with frozen with snow. Okay. Hi, my name is Francesca, and the poem I'll, I'll be reading is Oceans, a poem I wrote. Oceans, oceans, you feel it in the breeze. Oceans, oceans, the water's up to my knees. It's exciting, it's unique. I don't have one critique. I can feel the sand right under my feet. Everyone's hanging out morning to night. Night. Everyone's diving without a fright. You never know if the tide is high, so say it with me, the ocean will never die. I chose this poem because I love oceans. My name is Kenzie and I'm reading Sick, Sick by Sel Stil Silverstein. I cannot go to school today, said little Peggy Ann McKay. I have the measles and the mumps, a gas of rash and purple bumps. My mouth is wet, my throat is dry, I'm going blind in my right eye. My tonsils are big as rocks, I've counted 16 chicken pox, and there's one more, that's 17. And don't you think my face looks green? My leg is cut, my eyes are blue, I might be in stomatic flu. I cough and I and sneeze and gasp and choke. I'm sure that my left leg is broke. My hip hurts when I move my chin. My belly button is caving in. My back is wrecked. My ankle sprained. My pen appendix pains each time it rains. My nose is cold. My toes are numb. I have a slither in my thumb. My neck is stiff. My voice is weak. I hardly whisper when I speak. My tongue is filling up my mouth. I think my hair is falling out. My elbow is bent. My spine ain't straight. My temperature is 108. My brain is strong. I cannot hear. There is a hole inside my ear. I have a hangout and my heart is what? What's that you say? What's that you say? You say today's Saturday? Gee, bye, I'm going out to play. This poem is by me, it's called, What if I? What if I get eaten by a shark? What if I almost drowned? What if I got lost at the beach? I would be worried and scared. What if I almost died? I would tell my parents. <laughs> would this all happen? I'm Mia, and um, I wrote this um, poem about cats. So, cats, cats, they're cute but brats. They try and scratch, they do not match, and be careful or they will attack. But by the end of the day, they're sweet. I'm Izzy, and I'm reading um, the poem A Small Dragon by Brian Patton. 
I found a small dragon in the woodshed. I think it must have come from deep inside a forest because it's damp and green and leaves are still reflect reflecting in its eyes. I fed, it on, I fed it on many things, tried grass, the roots of stars, hazelnut, and dandelion, but it stared up to me as if to say, I need foods you can't provide. It made a nest among the coal, not unlike a bird's, but larger. It is out of place here and is most time silenced. If you believed in it, I would come, hurrying to your house to let you share this wonder. But I want to instead to see if you yourself would pass this way. Hi, I'm Nathan, and I wrote this poem called Godzilla because I love Godzilla. Stomp, stomp, smash, Godzilla's back. He has a rage to attack. He burns the buildings with a blast. Smash, crash, bam. He's not going to stop now. We will fall. This titan will doom us all. Blow him up. Don't look back. He just won, but he just, just, he just destroyed a ton. <laughs> I am Ian Lee. How do you like to go up in a swing, up in the air so blue? Oh, I do think it the pleasantest thing every a child can do, up in the air and over the wall, till I can see so wide rivers and trees and cattle and all over the countryside, till I look down on the garden green, down on the roof so brown, up in the air, I go flying again, up in the air and down. Wow, that was great. Hey, I'm Joey and my poem is Walking With My Iguana. I'm walking with my iguana, I'm walking with my iguana. When the temperatures rise up to above 85, my iguana is looking alive. Like, So when we make it to the beach, my iguana and me, he, then he sits on my shoulder and we st stroll by the sea. I'm walking with me, my iguana. I'm walking with my iguana. Well, if anyone sees us, we're su a big surprise. M my iguana and me doing our e daily exercise. Uh, till somebody phones the local police, I've got, an I've got an alligator tied to a leash. I'm walking with my iguana. I'm walking with my iguana. He, it's the spines on his back that make him look grim. He loves to be tickled under his chin. I know that my iguana is ready for bed, so he puts on his pajamas and lays and he's a sleepy head. I'm walking with my iguana. I'm walking with my iguana. Still walking with my iguana, with my iguana, with my iguana, with my piranha and my chihuahua and my chinchilla and my gorilla and my caterpillar. I'm walking with my, my iguana. I'm walking with my iguana. I'm walking with my iguana. I'm walking with my iguana. Hi, I'm Sam, and I have a runny. Do you want to take off your mask while yeah. you read it? Okay. Hi, so just... I'm Sam. I made a poem called, and it's about mask. Ma masks. I am a mask, black as a black hole, made to not get the coes. You need me to go to school. Take me off to eat. Put me back after. Put me back after. I am a mask. I am a mask. My name is Bria, and I wrote the poem called Horses at the Barn. What's in the barn? Horses galloping in the fields, workers who are tired, tired, saddles that have just been used, grain and hay ready to get eaten, riders jumping, cats running around, dogs barking, and grass barking. I'm Maddie, and I'm reading the poem Daughter of the Sea by Philip Ross. Bog seeper, moss creeper, growing restless, getting steeper, trick husher, swish and rusher, stone leaper, splash and gusher, foam flicker, mirror slicker, pebble pusher, boulder kicker, still pull, don't be fooled, shadow tricker, keeping cool, leap plunger, crash plunger, free fall with thunder under, idle winder, youth behind her, little wonder, daily grinder. Garbage dinner, dump it in her, never mind her dog's dinner. Plastic bagger, old wagger, oil skinner, wharf nagger. Cowgirl porter, weary water, tie dragger, long lost daughter. Of the sea, the sea, the sea has caught her up in his arms and set her free. Hi, 
My name is Tommy, and I wrote a poem called Root Beer. Root beer, root beer, root beer. Very dark brown, not clear. It is always best in tin cans. It's right here in my hands. Root beer, root beer, root beer. All right, excellent. Finn, you're up. I'm Jonas. My poem is the bid, the big bad shark. The big bad out at sea. The big bad out it at sea. At sea. Hear the scary music. Hear the scary music. It comes near. It comes near. It smells fear. It smells fear. This could be severe. This can be severe. Hello, I'm a shark. Hello, I'm a shark. It speaks. It speaks. We run. We run. The end. The end. I'm Troy, and my poem is I ate a chili pepper. I ate a chili pepper on a lunchtime dinner. Sandy said I'd burn my mouth, but I didn't care. I ate that in a chili pepper, not in a, I'm sorry, left not a seed to waste. And one that truly silly bit, but lost my sense of taste. Hi, I'm Finn, and my poem is called Earth is a Donut. Earth is a Donut, and that is quite true because I am right here telling you. And if you don't believe me, then try some broccoli straight from the ground. And don't be frightened, Earth is still round, just it's shaped like a donut. The reason I did this poem because Earth is a donut. You just gotta believe it, it's a fact. My name is Alex. And I'm reading the poem Flag. And I'm reading the poem Flag. One star is for Alaska. One star is for Alaska. One star is for Nebraska. One star is for Nebraska. One star is North Dakota. One star is for North Dakota. One star is Minnesota. One star is Minnesota. There are lots of other stars. There are lots of other stars. But I forget which ones they are. But I forget which one ones they are. By Shel Silverstein. By Shel Silverstein. Okay. Let's get a yell for why. Let's Get a yell for why why is for you plus sign and yellow two two Let's give 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 a, a, a yell for why. <laughs> okay, this poem is by John Mills, who is my dad, who is Joven's grandfather. Weed, weed twisting, tangling, wrapping around the old evergreen bush, its purple flowers giving way to orange, ripening to red berries. Weed twisting, tangling, wrapping around the old evergreen bush, giving color where only dullness was, purple, orange, and red, in brown and fading green. This poem is for Brielle. I ride my horse by Ivy Snexnader. I feel the wind, I hear the birds. I ride my horse as I sing words. I see the grass, I feel the leather. I ride my horse upon the heather. I taste the dust, I see the heat. I ride my horse to his own beat. I feel the joy, I taste the fun. I ride my horse into the yellow sun.
Hi, Kenzie. I'm going to read Falling Asleep in Class by Ken Nesbitt. I fell asleep in class today as I was awfully bored. I laid my head upon my desk and closed my eyes and snored. I woke to find a piece of paper sticking to my face. I'd slobbered on my textbooks and my hair was a disgrace. My clothes were badly rumpled and my eyes were glazed and red. My binder left a three ring indentation in my head. I slept through class and probably I would have slept some more, except my students woke me as they headed out the door. Hi everyone, this poem is called Hiking by Lenore Hetrick. For summer fun, I like to hike. Off I hurry down the pike. To a country road I turn and soon am thick in brush and fern. Oh, the secrets that I find if I have more than half a mind. For winter fun, I like to hike. Yes, that's exactly what I like. Over the snowy hills I go, adventures by the dozen grow. I explore the woods when all is still and cry hello from the top of the hill. And what do I do in the budding spring when all the birds return to sing? And what do I do in the scarlet fall when Jack Frost splashes paint on all? Why, I just hurried down the pipe. I'm off, you see, for another hike. Silliest Teacher in School by Darren Sardelli. Our teacher gave detention to the fountains in the hall. She handed extra homework to the artwork on the wall. We saw her point a finger at a banner and a sign. She said their bad behavior was completely out of line. The principal approached her and said, what is all the fuss? I heard you tried to punish all the tires on a bus. You've made the teachers angry by disrupting all their classes. So if you wanna keep this job, you have to wear your glasses. Hi everyone. I'm very excited to share with you one of my favorite poems uh, by a very famous American poet named Maya Angelou. And the poem is called, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. The free bird leaps on the back of the wind and floats downstream till the current ends and dips his wings in the orange sun rays and dares to claim the sky. But a bird that stalks down his narrow cage can seldom see through his bars of rage. His wings are clipped and his feet are tied so he opens his throat to sing. The caged bird sings with fearful trill of the things unknown but longed for still, and his tune is heard on the distant hill, for the caged bird sings of freedom. The free bird thinks of another breeze, and the trade winds soft through the sighing trees, and the fat worms waiting on a dawn bright lawn and he names the sky his own. But a caged bird stands on the grave of dreams. His shadow shouts on a nightmare scream. His wings are clipped and his feet are tied, so he opens his throat to sing. The caged bird sings with a fearful trill of the things unknown but longed for still. And his tune is heard on the distant hill for the caged bird sings of freedom. This poem is called Wind, written by Joey and Sarah Adair. The wind carries my hopes, it carries my dreams. May I carry them high above all the trees. Wind carry me to the future, wind clear a path to the times where I can laugh, laugh, laugh. Carry me to the times of fun in the sun, to the times of holding hands and giving hugs. Wind clear my mind and help me breathe to take this break you have given me. Help me be thankful, patient, and at ease. Remember the wind will always be blowing. There will always be a breeze. Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Hatton, and I hope that you have enjoyed your class's Poetry Cafe and had a few little surprises with some guest poems. And I would like to end this event with a poem about books. Books by Helen H. Moore. If you read a few, then you'll know it's true. Books are good for you. Chefs read cookbooks. Pirates hook books. Little kids read lift and look books. We read books of poems and prose. 
some of these and some of those. Read some too and you'll agree. Books are good for you and me.